Okay, uh, decently warm day. I think it's about minus 10 right now. Uh, beautiful late afternoon day. Uh, sun's about to go down. Went for a nice ski today. Found some antlers, some caribou antlers. It's really, really nice. Uh, but uh, back to the topic today, I'll, I'll do two topics. One is uh, uh, just to quick observation on my new, on my reduced uh, lower entrance. Uh, let's go and zoom in a bit so you can see how uh, there is a bit of evidence of, uh, I guess right there, there's some moisture there, which is normal, uh, but you can see there's no frost or hoarfrost at all. If I zoom in over to this one here, it's slightly open, but you can see there's hoarfrost on both sides, and that's the chilling effect uh, on a narrow gap of plastic. So it went from about, uh, see right here. So there was, this is an example of the previous one. So it's about a half centimeter I think it's like 17 uh, which is it would be okay normally especially in warmer temperatures or but the challenge is uh, this narrow gap here when the cool moist air flows through it uh, and this plastic is super chilled uh, basically it'll just create uh, uh, a chill point and then it, the ice build up and uh, the gap is too narrow so you can see here that's about a i'm flipping from uh, metric to standard but that's about a half inch slightly more than a half inch wide uh as you can see previously it went from there to there and i just added some some minor styrofoam blocks there just to reduce it even more because uh, when i took as i'm monitoring temperatures since i've opened it up to the wider one uh, the bees have had uh, basically, I'll say, trouble maintaining higher levels of CO2. Uh, it is a bit warmer outside, so there's that combo too. Uh, but uh, my goal is to, to make it easy for them to keep it in the uh, the one to two, three percent range, uh, but them able to manage that. So just going to show a chart now, and you'll see that. Uh, there's been, uh, over the last week, there's accumulations of CO2. So uh, that's where the CO2 levels in this box here. So this is a medium and a deep uh, volume. So over time, CO2 accumulates to a certain level. And, and then basically we call it air exchanges. So I'm able to adjust air exchange to get an idea of... of uh, how much ventilation is actually happening in a box like this. Uh, and you can see it's anywhere from uh, 0.25 uh, to 0.1, maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.15, which is about uh, an air change every six hours. Uh, so that is probably optimal. More than that, uh, basically just means there's a mortuary bee trying to pull out uh, a dead bee. Uh, which is actually quite interesting at this time of year. Uh, but you can see the bees never stop working. Hopefully the challenge is if they work too hard, they can't get back in. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, I pushed her back in. Hopefully she can uh, get back and get warm. That's the challenge with these weather. This is why I keep this board up. Uh, what it does, it prevents bees from false uh, cleansing because it's still minus 10 out. Uh, and the bees get quickly chilled and then just die. They might be healthy, so I'll, uh, I'll put this uh, the piece of plywood back up just to, to give the bees uh, no false hope in this weather. <laughs> 